talk about um, social and environmental impact of fast fashion. So fast fashion can be designed as cheap and trendy clothing that meets consumer demands. Um, it, this trend started around the um, 2000s when um, stores like H&M, Zara were looking um, to copy trends from runways and like fashion designers, I would say, like more, more expensive clothing. So they tried to imitate that and sell it for cheaper prices. There is pros and cons of fast fashion, which I mean, like simple, it's convenient and affordable for the people. Um, the cons are is that it promotes the dumping culture, which since they are cheaply made, it lasts only for a couple months and you just throw it away and end up, ended up in a landfill. Um, excessive consumerism, which since it's really cheap, we take advantage of that and buy a lot. And obviously like it ends in the landfill. So the environmental impact. Um, it has 10% of CO2 production, which is um, way more than the annual um, global carbon emissions from maritime and shipping methods. Um, it has 1.5 trillion liters of water used. So just to make a t-shirt, it takes 2,700 um, liters of water. So that combined is like 900 days of water for a one person to drink. Then we have the plastic microfibers. Those are the ones that come out every time you wash your clothes. Uh, since polyester became really cheap to make clothing, it, those plastic parts from the clothes start to like drain and ended up in the oceans. The um, usage, usage of visco, uh, that one is, com it comes out from the pole, from the trees. And usually in order to make that visco, it takes a lot of chemical release that damage the water. And 85 of the textiles end in the dumps each year. So in the US, it's estimated that 1.3 million um, textiles end in landfill. Now the social impact. Child labor, um, this one is mostly common in countries like India where recruited, recruiters go to the parents and ask for their children basically and they promise better education, better payment, uh, three times of food, but that's actually not true when they get to the the actual place, they realize that it's not that and it becomes an exploitation. So exploitation and the probably working conditions. Usually these people work for less than a dollar a day and they basically get paid less than $200, for example. Um, in El Salvador, people get paid like $150 per month to survive the whole month. Um, one of the most famous cases of deplorable conditions will be the women in New York, the 146 workers who died um, in a fire in 1911 due to like not secure system for them to escape. And use of exter external resources. So basically, like companies, the clothing companies go to other countries to develop their clothing, and they use their resources like their waters, they use their the, their lands. So they contaminate everything around them, and they do not like try to like, replace them or make them better. Possible solutions. So, one of the possible solutions could be like buying more durable and like dur 
whole clothing. Also, like avoid the fast fashion companies and try to repurpose your clothing. Like if it rips a little bit, you can just like sue that or or make it like something to clean the house. But don't dump it basically. <laughs> Um, some companies with social and environmental responsibilities are Patagonia, which 89% um, of their fabrics are made of preferred materials. 100% of their materials are responsibly resources. And 86% of their production are fair trade. And they have 2,500 more uh, farmers that take advantage of the material they resource from. Um, four days is considered like a circular economy fashion line, I would say. Um, they produce, they take it to the market and then recycle whatever it was not sold or people return. And um, PAC is the Zero Net Carbon Company they are part of the USA um, Fair Trade and Global Organic Textile Standard and Simply Zero, and that ensure that the process um, is safer for the planet.